Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Metal Detecting with Lugnut. This episode, we return to the house where we found the Walking Liberty and the Ike Dollar in the last episode. And a little preview, lightning strikes again in this episode. So, stay tuned. Let's go see what's under the grass. See you at the first good target. Well, been here about a half an hour digging junk. Finally got my first wheat going low and slow in front of the front porch. Got a couple memorials, but they don't count. But uh, there's a wheat. Hopefully there's lots more. Next target. Well, it's been about 40 minutes since that wheat. Dug a bunch of crap. Finally got a, a good tone. Hey, there's something. Oh, look at that, it's a medallion. Looks like it could be silver. The tone was at 82. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's for sure silver. All right. Got us some shiny. Let me, uh, let me clean that up. I'll be right back. There was something else in the hole there with the St. Christopher medal. Look at this. I may have found another arrowhead. I'm going to clean them both off. Oops. I'll be right back. Look at that. St. Christopher, protect us. I am a Catholic. In case of an accident, please call a priest. That's definitely. So it says Sterling right there. And this. Look at this. I think I dinged it. But look at the edges. Look at that. How has that not worked? My goodness. That's got to be an arrowhead. All those serrated edges. The shape is pretty good. Doofus here dinging it. Still, wow. That's well, pretty good for one hole. Next target. We got a lipstick case. Want to see uh, what period that falls in. The uh, design looks uh, 20s, 30s. Very deco. Cool. Next target. Out there in the burning hot sun, kind of a jumpy signal. Was up into the 80s, even down into the 50s. Brought it over here into the shade. It's in the clump there, you can see the edge. Oh, it's a button. No, <laughs> it's a washer. Well, you never know. Next target. Here's only my second wheat and its imprint. And it's a 56. Just not finding really old coins. So far the oldest thing is the arrowhead. <laughs> Next target. 
this wheat penny is going to have to be my last thing. I'm about baked. I have no date for now, but uh, I think that's number four. And this one I didn't video, but excellent day. Really hot. I mean, I am melting. So uh, let's go back to the truck and do a wrap up. Here's the wrap up for this hunt. Hot hunt. All oh, it's getting ready to start raining now. Here's last week's junk. Here's this week's junk. Now I coiled that up, but that sounded like a, my barber dime. Got a uh, brad or some kind of rivet. I don't know what that is. Looks like it's part of a stainless steel safety pin or something. They weren't lug nuts, but close. The lipstick tube, which I'll look up. Got six copper memorials. 11 cents I found on the surface next to the truck. Four wheat pennies. I'm pretty sure they're all 40s and 50s. The freaking arrowhead. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I did nick it somehow. The tip was already gone. And the shiny Christopher, St. Christopher medal. And I asked the uh, owner if he wanted it, but he said he's not Catholic and his family is an Anabaptist, so they don't need it. So I'm going to hang on to that. That's pretty cool. Well, thanks a lot for joining me. Come back again next time when we once again go looking for what's under the grass. Bye for now.